Hey guys, my name's Phil and I'm here to cover some features of the new second generation Cycleboard Rover. Now as you can see, the Cycleboard uses a three wheel platform and the primary difference is the handlebars don't turn. So steering is achieved through leaning, similar to other board sports like snowboarding or skateboarding. Now we've made a number of improvements to this second generation Rover and I'm super excited to get this board into our customers' hands. So let's dive right in. Now to raise or fold the handle, simply press the release tab at the base of the handle and it'll lock back into place. The handle is made of steel and it's designed to tolerate up to 400 pounds of force. So no matter how aggressive you want to ride, you'll never have to worry about handle strength. It's also well suited to carry a load like the cargo basket or golf bag accessories on our website. On the deck we use a proprietary washable grip tape so you can keep your board looking new yet still have plenty of grip so your feet don't slip while you're riding. The deck is 10 inches wide by 29 inches long so there's lots of room for a variety of foot positions. Now the Gen 2 Rover has a new more powerful 1800 watt motor contained in the rear wheel hub which really improves hill climbing ability particularly for heavier riders. It also has incredible acceleration and you can go from 0 to 20 miles per hour in just 5 seconds. The brakes are a combination of hydraulic disc brakes and electronic braking. So as you pull the handbrake lever, the electronic brake slows the motor before the caliper makes contact with the disc. So you end up using electronic braking most of the time, which is great because it extends the life of your brake pads. There's also a parking brake on the handbrake lever, so if you park on a slope, it won't roll away. The Rover is equipped with rear suspension and independent front suspension, which does a great job absorbing the bumps and creates a super soft ride feel. One of the great features of the Rover are the all-terrain tires, which are designed for maximum grip and traction on both mixed terrain and paved areas. Also, the front wheels and the rear wheel have a two-piece wheel hub design, so you can separate them and easily change the tire when the tread wears out. The deck hinge is open by removing the four finger nuts on the left underside of the deck to give you quick access to the battery compartment. This is a great feature for customers or rental businesses who want to quickly swap out their battery with a spare and keep riding. To swap the battery, you remove the two lock nuts at the front of the battery case, unplug the battery connector, and swap out the battery with a new one. The upgraded display and thumb throttle shows speed modes here that you can toggle through with the up and down arrows as well as battery life, speed, and odometer. Using a combination of high-grade steel and aluminum components, we're building vehicle-grade products designed to last for years and years of rigorous riding. We invite you to check out our boards for yourself at cycleboard.com. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for our next video where we'll cover steering, braking, and a variety of riding stances.